It took 15 years, but Aaron Rodgers is finally getting Brett Favre. What's up, folks? Fred Ricciani, TSC. Your home for NFL news updates, interviews, and everything in between. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you haven't heard the news, the draft is, of course, still going on as we speak. It's about to wrap up. But believe it or not, the Green Bay Packers selected a quarterback. Not in the second round, not in the third round, not in the fourth round. In the first round. And they selected Jordan Love of Utah State. A quarterback. Now, a decent quarterback. A lot of people are calling him more of a, a project, somebody that can be developed. Jordan Love had some great stats a couple years ago. He uh, threw for 32 touchdowns. He had six interceptions. Quarterback rating 158.3. Uh, the following season, this past season, 20 touchdowns, 17 interceptions. Not all that great from a passing standpoint, although he did also have uh, 175 rushing yards. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Jalen Hurts, Heisman finalist, former Alabama quarterback, now the former Oklahoma Sooners quarterback. Again, a Heisman finalist, Heisman Trophy runner-up in 2019, Big 12 Offensive Newcomer of the Year, a Big 12 champion, a two-time SEC champion, a former Offensive Player of the Year. He wasn't picked. So there are two egregious errors here and this is from a lot of teams one my man Jalen Hurts is continuously disrefreaking number two the Packers just pissed off their legendary future Hall of Fame franchise quarterback Aaron Flippin Rodgers and well you might be thinking well maybe Aaron Rodgers expected to, to to have them draft a quarterback maybe he expected this I mean he's talked about winding it down and all this other stuff well here's what he told the Pat McAfee show folks quote we haven't had we haven't picked a skill player in the first round in 15 years so that would be kind of cool Rogers says whoever the pick is he'll track down his phone number and welcome him to the team tonight if the Packers don't trade out welp yeah, yeah, uh, well, that skill player is somebody that is, uh, well, Aaron Rodgers, you know, skill type of player, that is a quarterback. Now, I don't think present day, right now, Jordan Love will be able to properly replace Aaron Rodgers. Could Jordan Love be a serviceable NFL quarterback? Yeah, and you know what? Look, projections are so crazy. I mean, Tom Brady was picked at, what, 199? All right, that being said, if you're going to take a quarterback in the first round and Herbert's out of there and two is out of there and Burrow's out of there, why not take Jalen Hurts? That's ridiculous. And if you know Jalen Hurts is going to be available the next day or two, why don't you wait and draft, like Aaron Rodgers said, a skill player. So does this mean that the Aaron Rodgers era will be over? Could they really be trying to hand the keys to a kid that went 20 and 17 this past season? At Utah State, no less. No disrespect to Utah State, but it's not Alabama. It isn't Oklahoma. It's certainly not Clemson or LSU, at least not right now. Man, I don't know. To me, if I was playing Madden 20 and I selected Jordan Love this high, uh, I think the computer would say that is a reach. And here's another crazy, crazy stat here, right? Back in the day, Brett Favre was 35 years old when Aaron Rodgers was selected 24th overall in 2005. Aaron Rodgers in 2020? 36, Packers select Jordan Love, 26th overall. The irony is crazy, but I don't think Aaron Rodgers is done. Some would make the argument, I'm not saying I would, but some would make the argument that Ted Thompson, that Mike McCarthy, that they and other uh, Packers management did not surround Aaron Rodgers with enough proper talent over the years. They'll make the argument and say, despite going to multiple NFC title games, despite winning one Super Bowl 10 years ago, that they somewhat wasted Aaron Rodgers' prime. And with him still having some gas left in the tank, would it make sense for the Packers to move on, promote Jordan Love to starting quarterback, and let Aaron Rodgers go somewhere else? Now where? I, off the top of my head, I don't know, but I know a lot of teams would be in a market for a guy like Aaron Rodgers. And hey, he's a California kid. Granted, the Chargers just got Herbert, but there's another L.A. team that has a quarterback that's very shaky with Jared Goff, the Rams. But, you know, he's got that big contract. I don't know. 
I don't know. Cam Newton doesn't have a job right now. Jameis Winston doesn't have a job right now, but a lot can shake out. And I think Aaron Rodgers uh, wouldn't be unemployed for long if he were to come to some type of deal or trade or whatever the case may be. But I know it sounds crazy, but hey, things happen when you draft a quarterback in the first round. When your quarterback is still maybe not in his prime, but not fully out of it either. But I want to hear from all of you. Do you think Jordan Love is the quarterback of the future for the Packers? Not just in name, but in ability. Do you think Aaron Rodgers is done with Green Bay much sooner rather than later? Let me know. Leave a comment below if you enjoyed this update. Please like, share, take care. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss an NFL update. And until next time, everybody, as always, enjoy the games and please stay safe. A-Rod, I guess you're going to get his phone number, huh?